we go. If I forget, we can wait until next week. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to uh, the latest episode of Quit Acting Stupid. I'm your host, Jamie Paredes, and uh, joining me as always are my brothers, uh, Bobby and Rudy. I- I'm not doing the Rudolph thing anymore. It's Rudy. I don't know why, how, I, I think I can count on one hand the number of times I've called you Rudy or Rudolph in your life. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's you, Rudy. Rudy. Right. Yeah. That was um, funny during the holidays. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, a long time to see you guys. Um, yeah. With, uh, we just, uh, we, we met up for lunch uh, at uh, the Westport Fleet. I probably shouldn't mention their name until they're a sponsor. They're not a sponsor. Yeah, we're not going to give them any free advertisement. Well, yeah, it was originally going to be a uh, a barbecue thing where we were going to get together and sample some of Casey's best. But uh, being the typical Mexicans that we are, we hear uh, three dollar burgers and uh, <laughs> and we're there. Yep, absolutely. Uh, yeah, so when we had lunch for like under ten bucks. Interestingly enough, there's a lot of barbecue places we haven't even tried in this. Yeah, season. So, yeah, we're, yeah, we're anxious to try. Them. What was that one I sent you guys? Like Bill Edwards or something? What, what the hell? Was yeah, that? Danny, Danny Edwards or something. Danny I, Edwards. I, I there a long time ago. Really? It's. I, I, think, I, I think it was pretty good. I picked up food there when I was door dashing once, but I've never eaten there. Well, yeah. So anyway, that uh, yeah. So we uh, we just met up today for that. Um, a mere eleven uh, hours ago. Yeah, yeah, and we have some uh, some new news. Um, uh, but except, uh, yeah, I don't think we can call it new news. I think it's already taken, I believe. Somebody Did you say new up. nudes? <laughs> new news. I was not aware. Oh, news. New okay, news. Gotcha. But gotcha. I think that's taken, like I said. Um, we are now officially new on news. Spotify. News. <laughs> We're officially yeah, on We're going to get sued. Thanks a lot. Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> I was saying we are officially on Spotify. Hey. Uh, yeah. Not, not so We're well. big time now. Now we're do, big do, time. I do, the, do I do the literal round of applause when when you put your hands in a circle? Yeah. Remember, round uh, of applause. Remember um, on In Living Color, what was the uh, men two on snaps. the two snaps up or two snaps in a circle or what? Yeah. <laughs> in Living Color reference. I think that's a first here. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so, no, that's pretty cool. Um, you guys have any uh, other? Um, oh, Rudy, why don't you update us, update us on the uh, the contest? Yeah, so uh, the contest, we, um, as I said last week, because I know you guys are still all of our listeners that are just hanging on every episode. Last week, we talked about having uh, our cousin uh, Vince, the chef at the farmhouse, chef and owner of the farmhouse. Hello, children. (laughs) Hello, children. (laughs) Uh, Anyways, uh, he had a scheduling conflict. So um, we are going to bump him till next week. And uh, which kind of gives us a little bit more of a, uh, you know, we're going to extend the contest for that $75 gift card. We're going to extend it out another week when he'll be on with us next week. Um, Shout out to little brother, Andrew, sister-in-law, Kaylee. They kind of hammered it down on Instagram and Facebook and sent it to all their friends and starting to get more shares now. And so, um, yeah, that otherwise we were just going to have to give it to Mary Kate because I think at that point, (laughs) If we wanted to do everything we could to not have that happen. Yeah, Mary Kate. I love you to death, but yeah, we needed at least a couple of entrants. You could still win, Mary Kate. I'm just saying now we've got a little bit more people in the competition, pool. Competition. And, yeah, a little more competition, and, and we're gonna we're gonna extend it out a week because Vince will be on with us next week. Uh yeah, he had something that just popped up. Um, he messaged me this afternoon. So yeah, he can't make it, but we'll we'll do that next week. Um, and I think he'll hang with us. He had a little bit, he, I was talking to him on the phone earlier. And uh, he has a little bit of um, beef with us for our uh, anti-Chiefs fan uh, message last week. Ooh. So uh, can't wait to hear from him. So, yeah. but um, So you mean there'll be some fireworks next week when we bring him on the show to talk about uh, him, him and his restaurant? And he, he may have a contrary opinion to, 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 to ours on the, when it comes to the Chiefs? It sounds like it. It sounds like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For so sure. you, should, you should plan to come watch and come listen uh, just for that. Yeah, and don't forget to uh, like and subscribe on YouTube. Um, if you don't have a YouTube account, get one and uh, subscribe to us. Uh, like us, leave a comment, rate us wherever you can. Like us on socials, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, X. We're out there. Uh, don't, you guys suck. Don't, I mean, just don't, call, 
Don't call it X. It's, I have it's, to. It's, I mean, it's, okay. Yeah. Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're out there. So follow us there and uh, interact with uh, with our stuff. So, yeah. Hey, shout out to a, a, a new interactor, would it be? Good old, good old Anthony Spino from the from the hood. Oh yeah. So so we talked last week about people in California and people in Alaska listening. We've got uh, two. I know for a fact we got two listeners out in New York. Anthony Spino and his uh, wife Denise Rierig. Uh Denise is the executive producer of Late Night with Stephen Colbert, and my boy Anthony Spino is uh, killing it as a chef out in New York. He is a vegan chef, and uh, which I know. My girlfriend, Kim, is very fond of. I actually went out there this past summer to try some of his wares, and it was uh, quite good, actually. Uh, my kids actually ate it, too, as, as uh, you know, as vegan and stuff. But um, kids ate it up, and uh, he's, he's, he's the owner of Anthony's East Side. So if you're in the Manhattan area, New York, <laughs> there's, there's a few people out there, I think. Um, we got about six listeners over there, I think. Yeah, yeah maybe. <laughs> uh, yeah, hit him up. So, so we go from the... We go from the east coast to the west coast now, or from the west coast to the east coast. We 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 span right. the entire country. Southern west. We've yeah. got north. So technically, we're nationwide. We're yeah, national. Kind of. Also, another shout out to um, um, Linus Mendel. Um, Linus Mandel. I don't know how you say his last name. Anyways, he's out in Boulder, Colorado, listening to us. So uh, thanks for being there, Linus. Uh, appreciate up, Linus? it. Um, yeah, and uh, well, I was gonna. Okay, we haven't named our listeners. We need to come up with a name for our listeners. You know, we get uh, yes. our fan club, oh, our listeners. We got to come up with a, a name for them. What'd you say, Jamie? No, I'm saying it, it, he froze up on my end. Anyway, go oh, ahead. so a name for our listeners. Um, yeah. How do we do this? Can we get suggestions? Yeah, let's get some suggestions. I think um, that'd be good. Uh, it make us feel more important that we actually name our listeners. I think that's a thing that you do now. Yeah. I was I looking think- I was looking. Oh, go ahead. No, I just I was going to throw out my suggestion for the listeners as uh, stupid heads. Um, I think that fits, right? Stupid uh, heads. Uh, stupid, stupid something. Heads. That sounds too much like Jimmy Buffett's parrot heads. So mm, stupid heads. Es stupido. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Los estupidos. Penejos. 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 Yeah, that could be. Um, no. Uh, getting back to Anthony, I was looking for I was gonna look for that uh, picture that you had uh, you had sent of uh, that what old Holy Cross basketball team where we that all look actually, like oh, we're we're doing mug shots or something. Yeah, but, that was actually a volleyball team. If you follow us on social media, you probably saw it. About, okay. Yeah, I was gonna look for it and I was gonna try and share it, but I'm I'm kind of iffy on this whole uh, sharing thing. This is uh, the only thing I could uh, do. I dare. Or Play we this? Oh, we're going should right we into this? Let no, it well, rip. Set it up. Set it up. Set up the clip first. Um, um, I mean, I don't know. We were trying to. We were working on this stuff before we started. We don't know how to share things. Where, and we were going through clip, you know, videos on our phone, and this one came across. Uh, obviously, my youngest Macy was. God, I don't know what age. We were still in the Liberty House, and it's Parker's voice you're going to hear in the background. But it's it's uh, one of my favorite videos. She was trying to. Um, she was eating some mangoes and it looks like a corn dog there and uh older sister kind of stepped in and had some questions for her. So, all right. It's good. Yeah, we, go. we were kind of talking about this clip. I think it kind of fits in with our, uh, our theme or our, our topic for today of, of school dances and daughter dances and all that stuff. But uh, let's see. What is it called? The mango. How do you say it? The mango. The mango? Yeah, you piece of shit. <laughs> Sorry, sorry about the profanity there. Uh, I probably should have. Uh, uh, anyway, no. I guess that's how she was raised. I, I don't. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I'll but tell you what. Five minutes before we went on air, Rudy uh, sh- found that, showed it to us, and I've, I had seen it before, but it'd been years since I saw that, and. That was the funniest thing that I've seen in a long time. Yeah, yeah. sorry, sorry, Anthony. I was going to uh, I was going to dig into uh, the the Facebook pictures or the you know the pictures that we had, and uh, I saw that, and we had to uh, we had we had to include that. We had to veer <laughs> off and, and go in that direction. Yeah, no, um, she's she's grown up quite a bit. We we both had uh, dances this week, 
uh, with our daughters. Yeah, yeah, I thought it'd be a good topic because you guys, uh, you know, you guys each have daughters, and uh, I noticed that uh, Friday night, Rudy, you were with your daughter for uh, father-daughter dance, and then Most the very so next funny. night, Jamie had one as well. So uh, I felt left out because sandwiched in between there is, uh, you know, was my wife and uh, my son. They went to to mother son. So uh, let me see if I can find that to give me. Yeah, no. Um, great, great TV. Okay. Hold on. There we go. Right there. So again, like I said, mother son uh, this weekend. So hey, tea bags. Tomas. Tea bags. Junior Tomas. year. Yeah. So my wife got to go to father uh, mother son. You guys got to go to. Were his eyes open? Daughter. In that I yeah. get you low. Get you low. I made a get pretty. <laughs> Get you low. Uh, that was the uh, Grandma Paredes all the time. Get you yeah. low. No, that was Anne Helen. That was Anne Helen. Anne Helen. Um, get you low. Yeah. Um, but no, those were the days back. I remember those, uh, what, mother son. They called it the mother son dinner dance at uh, good old Rockers High School. The mom so, prom. Yes. I think that was mom's highlight of her year. Um, when oh, uh, Wouldn't it be yours? I mean, look, look who she got to go with. <laughs> yeah, there was. I think there was one year, one year where all three of us were there. Yep. There's a picture. Uh, senior, you were a sophomore, Jamie, and Rudy was a freshman. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 We got a picture of that somewhere too. We're going to have to oh. dig that one out. And she made us, she made us, we had to have at least one dance with her before yes. we left. That was the rule, wasn't it? Yeah. We couldn't leave until we each danced with her once. And um, yeah, I tried and, to avoid it. I think it was these days they all they wear what uh, those Pee Wee Herman suits with the high waters and no socks or whatever and bow ties look right. stupid. I think back yeah. in the day the uniform was the uh, the khaki pants with the uh, white shirt and the navy blue uh, blazer, sport coat, yep. yeah. sport coat, blazer. Yep. And and we look stupid as well. Ooh, I mean, yeah. Yeah. you look back, uh, yeah, we look stupid as well. Yeah, but I mean, it, it's funny how you, you make fun of the. Pee Wee Herman's uh, suit, and that's kind of what the kids wear now. With the high, I don't get the high waters. But the and thing what's is, even worse, what's even worse than the high waters is the, the tennis shoes with with the with the dress pants. I no, no. I, just... You know, with the high water thing, the, the thing is, like, there's a look that they're obviously trying to mimic, but that look, those those pants have to be tapered. Like they have to, yeah. flap. they can't flap in the wind. You look like you're waiting for a flood. You look like Jethro, <laughs> like Jethro Bodine. I, it's, it doesn't. Yeah. It, it looks ridiculous. That's but. another momism. Uh, Jethro Bodine. I mean, like, our, uh, like, listeners and viewers are going to know who Jethro Bodine is. Everyone yeah. knows Google who it. Jethro Bodine is. Everybody over yeah. age 40, 45. You're aging, your, you're aging yourself. Hey, I'm 40. Yeah. How many how many younger listeners under 40 do we have, honestly, or viewers? Quentin. Yeah, Quentin and Crystal. <laughs> yeah, look it up. Google uh, Jethro. Oh, um, Miranda and James. But go ahead. Yeah, no, uh, that was kind of, that was something mom used to tell us whenever our, our pants would be too short. She's like, you look like Jethro. You're going to go out there looking like Jethro. Um, yeah, you know, that and, uh, and if the clothes were too small, like if they were too tight, you'd look like a bullfighter. That's what I <laughs> I, I still use that one. That was, that, that was Grandma Garcia. That was Grandma Garcia that would call us bullfighters if it was too tight. Mom did too, I think. Did but, she? Uh, I've, I've used that one on uh, Quentin and I think Avery. I think I used it on Quentin. It's Quentin funny. After. So now that we're talking about mom stuff, like my kids, like I ruined so many shirts. You guys make fun of me all the time because I always wear an undershirt under my shirt. Mm -hmm. It's that, to protect hence the name undershirt. Right. Right. Yeah. But it's, it's too, but even when it's like 120 degrees outside that, and that's when I need it the most because I'm protecting my shirt that I spent money on. I don't want pit stains coming out when I'm out in public, but my kid, it ruins so many shirts. And so, and I go through white undershirts like crazy. And uh, my kids are like, you put on like way too much deodorant. You chalk it on. And the reason I do that is because our Can't entire speak. childhood, all, all I, all we would get was, you smell like dog. <laughs> like constantly. You smell like, you smell like B.O. Yeah, you get in the car and it was just her nose. <laughs> you smell like dog. Like, was, so, so as a result, I caked. I must go through a, a stick every two weeks. Like, Don't want mom calling, you know, calling me a dog. 
Yeah. Keep in mind, we were what? She actually had the nose of a dog. I mean, mom could sniff that stuff out. I mean, yeah. yes. Rudy, yeah. you put on deodorant? You smell like butt. <laughs> yeah, that one a lot. <laughs> yeah, that was a big one. That was a popular one. I mean, keep in mind, we were like, what, age five to nine-ish. So, like, you're a little kid. You're pretty, you know, I mean, you're going to stink because you've been outside all day. Right. Um, but even to this day, I can't uh, I can't have anyone near my ears or touching my ears because mom would be like, did you clean your ears? Did you clean? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. Did I? I? I can't see them. I don't know. Did Maybe I, I, nobody can tell me unless I go and ask somebody else. Hey, look in my ears. Are they I, I constantly I terrified? So I'm like, I'm like, get away. Get away. So like when like when you're in school and the teacher would come up behind you and look at your you know paper or like answer. A question, I'm, I'm kind of like, eh, eh, you know, don't. You know, yeah, that was a thing for me. Good yeah. to know now. I now where I get this, uh, you know, self consciousness and this anxiety yeah. from. Um, you know, when going into meetings with clients, I'm like, yeah, I, I'm assuming my ears are clear, but yeah. And, and another th- another one was, uh, uh, and sorry, mom, we're we're we're, we're bringing. I, I don't know how this came up, but uh, yeah, how did we uh, get here? This was not in the plans at all. <laughs> that we spent an hour before recording. Show prep right out the window. Yeah. About about uh, brushing your teeth. Did you brush your teeth? Well, uh, yellow. <laughs> well, you know what it is? Is these are our mothers, Hispanic mothers? I mean, they just take the littlest insecurities, and they're just gonna, you know. I do the, I do the same thing. I do the same thing to Avery. I do the same thing to Avery when we're in the the drop off line, and we we pull into the parking lot, and I'm I'm gonna get in a wreck one of these days because I'm constantly look at me, look at me, look up, look up. I gotta look in her nose. I gotta, you know, everything, every last thing, and she's probably gonna be all, you know, messed up. From See, if there's too, any, so. hey, See if there's any Tomas, bats in the cave. Tomas, we're on our way to church. I'm like, hey, get that that's toothpaste. Get get that get that off your you know the corner of your mouth. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. My kids are, my kids are perfect. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> anyway, I think we were talking about the mother son dinner dance. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> <Somewhere> Originally, <laughs> 10 minutes ago. Yeah. But anyway, uh so, so uh, how about your dance? I didn't even know you were having one, Rudy. I didn't know I was having one either. Um, it was kind of a quick, um, you know, Macy's mom told me about it, kind of sent me. She's like, I don't know if you saw this, but this is going on on your weekend. And so it wasn't so much a, a father daughter dance. It was like a, a night with the stars type thing where, so there were boys there with their moms, there were girls there with their dads. And um, I uh, actually hung out most of the night with a friend of yours, Bobby, um, Carlos Casas. Oh yeah. Yeah. So me and him chatted a lot. Um, Good dude. the girls, Macy's at like that age where, you know, she's, she's with her friends. She doesn't, she's not going to be around me too much. She was running, running around the school with her friends most of the time. Uh, so it really wasn't, it was, it was a fun night, but, uh, Oh dude, this school, they had like, like any candy you wanted. Like it was all, it was like a yeah. movie themed. They had popcorn, they had nachos, they had can like, nerd ropes they had skittles they had sour patch kids everything and it was all just like i'm like i could just grab these like i'm looking around they had twinkies and ding-dongs and everything and it's so embarrassing oh i like the ding-dong that's what she said i I was walking out of the dance and i i i'm i'm I'm, i was completely embarrassed but oh oh, hold on let me let me uh, i'm gonna say you probably took more than what you should have on the way out (laughs) You stuffed your pockets. So I was walking out and some of Macy's, one of Macy's friend's dads, um, he, he, we're, he was walking behind me. He's like, Hey man, make sure you don't squish that Twinkie when you sit down. <laughs> <laughs> so clearly he saw you put it in your back pocket. Uh, it was in my side pocket and my oh. pants were kind of, I look like a bullfighter. My pants were kind of tight. So it was sticking out a little bit and uh, I had to quickly think of something and I blamed it Is on that me. a Twinkie or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to blame it on Macy really quick okay. and be like, yeah, I know this kid. She, you know, she wants to oh. take it all. No, it was, it was, it was me. It what was a me. father. You blamed it on your daughter. And Absolutely. I was going to say, that's not the first time he's had a Twinkie near his butt, but anyway. <laughs> what? I, so there's a cream filling joke in there somewhere, but uh, absolutely, a, yeah, you're, you're going the right direction. It's in there somewhere, find it, guys. Guys, we're trying to get new viewers. <laughs> I like the. I like. You missed my. Hey, you missed my Wildcats uh, reference. It's in no, there. That, it's in there somewhere. Find it. Anyway, never mind. Um, oh yeah, I was trying to think of when. That's when uh, they were. Just a joke. Just a joke. 
Yeah. It's a anyway. football uniform, coach. It doesn't have any pockets. Football uniform, sir. It doesn't have any pockets. <laughs> For everybody, everybody wondering, Wildcats with Goldie Hawn, go look it up. Wildcats. 1983. That's an uh, early, uh, early Woody Harrelson, early um, Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I like this tangent that we're uh, getting off on. Yeah. Wait. Who else was? Somebody else was in that. Woody Harrelson, Wesley Snipes. So I was just talking to Andrew about this today. So did you guys catch the new Curb Your Enthusiasm? This is it out, yes. is it out yet? Yeah, it just it started Sunday, Sunday. So, anyways, the the um, the woman, the the uh, heavier set black woman. She, you know, she's, I don't know what role she plays in the show. Isn't she like JB Smooth? Wh- whatever. It's I'm like an aunt or something. Yeah. She was a cheerleader in Wildcats. Oh, Get out of here. Oh, she was, right? Andrew mentioned it, and I was like, holy crap. Like before he even said it, I, it, uh, you know, it, it clicked with me. And yeah, she was uh, U G L Y. You ain't got no alibi. Uh, you ugly. What? Yeah. What? You ugly. She's on curb. She's on curb. So. All right. Well, cool. Wow. All right. Good. Good. Yeah, I like so, to say she's still in the biz. Still yeah, acting. Still getting that check. That was a great episode, by the way. Did you guys, okay. you guys watch it? I, okay, I saw man. it. Yet. Very okay. good. Catch up on it. We can do show reviews later. But um, yeah, how was your dance? How was your dance, Jamie? Um, it was good. Um, this is the second one I've been to. Uh, we went last year, uh, Avery and I. Um, and so this year when uh, the, I guess the, the, the flyer came around, I was thinking, I was like, ah, I can't really, because this year, Alicia, if she was able-bodied, would be in junior kindergarten at St. James. Uh, but she's, you know, needing her therapies and all that stuff. Uh, for those of you that don't know, she is uh, disabled um, and she goes to a different school, the Early Childhood Center. Differently like, abled. Differently, differently abled? Differently abled. Differently abled. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. She's not disabled. Um, she's differently abled. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, so uh, she, but she would go to St. James if she could. Uh, so I just asked him, I was like, Hey, you know, can, you know, I, because my, my original thought was I can't get dressed up with Avery, get her all, you know, in, in, a, in a, in a dress and get the corsage and all that stuff. And uh, see, see you later, Alicia, you know, we're, we're going to have fun. So I just I just right. sent them an email. They were like, "Yeah, cool. Yeah, she can go." Uh, so I, that's I something you had to ask for. You had to contact I mean, them. I probably didn't have to, but um, you know, I don't think anybody when we got there was going to be like, "Nope, nope, turn that wheelchair around. You you go back home." <laughs> you know, I, yeah. so but I, I did anyway just to not be weird. Um, but no, we had uh, we had a blast. We uh, we we went all out and did uh, like I said, did the whole corsage thing, which I don't think I'm gonna do next year. But we did it last year. I, didn't, I guess I didn't realize how expensive those things were. Corsage? Uh, like, Which was it? Yeah. How much was a corsage? I think for the two, it was like 60 bucks total. I'm like, mm. and Where are those at in, now? In the refrigerator, dying. Um, and then when It they- lasted longer than last year's did. But uh, yeah, so. Uh, wow. Um, but it, but here's the thing is all the, you know, a lot of the other girls had them too. So I can't really, eh, I don't know you know see nobody had mom mentioned that she's like you need to get a corsage for macy and mine was it's so difficult when she's you know living with her mom the majority of the time and i ordered her dress off of amazon she picked it out but it got here and she couldn't try it on until friday no wait she tried it on on wednesday the dance was friday and when she tried it on it was like just huge in the back like it just didn't fit her properly mm-hmm. so i just ran to macy's and bought her a big sweater just to throw over it to cover her you know how big it was in the back but you know it all went to plan but but the corsage was brought up and i was like should i get her one and i was so worried i was going to show up and all the other girls would have one but yeah i don't think i noticed any of the girls with one yeah. this, like i said this was less of a uh father daughter dance and it was more of like a hey it did say dress you know dress in your best but it was like a movie premiere type theme. Right. No, yeah. we, this this kind of ran the gamut. Uh, a lot of them had the corsage. A lot of them didn't. A lot of the dads, uh, you know, some were in suits, some were in just uh, shirt and ties. Some were, one dude had like a, you know, quarter, three quarter, you know, pullover under a sport coat. You know, just it was just kind of, <clears throat> you know, however, however you wanted to do it. But uh, I mean, the so oh that's right we we did um we did the uh dinner ahead of time i'm like you know we'll kind of do it up like it'd be like a real dance dance and so we went to uh i let avery pick and she of course picked red robin 
uh, to go. And we, we weren't the only ones there because there was uh, when we got there, there was, I guess, I assume an, I, another dad with, you know, two or three girls that I assume were going to the school dance as well. Uh, I didn't recognize them or, or anything, but uh, we had uh, one of Avery's friends come meet us, her and her dad. So we had Red Robin together before the dance and uh, Saturday night, Saturday night trying to eat, you know, of course we, you know, ridiculous. And uh, we were ended up being late, but we got there and they had like a whole bunch of cookies and stuff that, you know, you could just gorge on. But I had yeah. destroyed my stomach with so many fries at Red Robin. My God, just, I mean, the I lady was, I was, I was fries, right? Oh my God. I, I mean, and I'm like, a, I'm like a goldfish. I, I, I lose like, you know, I, you put too much food and the goldfish will just keep eating until it dies. That's me. Like I will eat myself stupid, like to where I'm in pain. And then I, I think my daughter's the same way because at the end of the night we got home and she laid in bed and she's like, Oh, my stomach. And this was all from fries, huh? Fries. And then her dancing her butt off like crazy. Just, I mean, gosh, I have the video here somewhere, but and for the sake of uh, jacking up, the whole deal i won't play no it. i'll let you i'll let you i'll give you a minute to find that video if you want i i, I got i got manny queued up uh, uh maybe, maybe right. yeah all right well okay. it's funny you mentioned that because my daughter <clears throat> eats nothing unless it's snacks it's twinkies or whatever but like she'll eat nothing all night and then we'll get home and it's time for bed and she'll oh, she'll uh, yeah dad can i pop some popcorn <laughs> no it's 10 o'clock go to bed you psycho <laughs> she asked me that last night can I pop some popcorn? No, eat when you were supposed to. <laughs> oh, God, that kid, I swear to God. Yeah, no, I, I saw you guys in, in your photos this weekend and the social media, and I was a little envious. Uh, like I said, you guys have got the daughters. I've got the two boys. And so it's like, man, I wish, I guess well, I'm I, never going to get to go to a father-daughter dance. I will say this is the first time I've been asked. Uh, my other two daughters Sorry. apparently didn't want to go with me. Uh, honestly, I don't know if they had them back when Miranda was little or maybe – because that wasn't a thing when I don't know, but but Parker, um, yeah, she had no interest in going with me. So, um, well, I guess it's not entirely true. I do have a daughter. I have a dog tur. Oh hell! Don't before say. before before you before you talk about your dog tur. Let me let me let me try this out real quick and see. Uh, let me know if you could see my uh, video. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, All right, this is this is with daddy daughter dance with Avery on the right and Alicia having fun in his chair. She uh, got to dance quite a bit. She's got some moves. Yeah, um, I will say, anyway. um, I will yeah. say when you when you when you try to talk over it, it's hard to hear you because the the video is so loud. When you were trying to talk oh, gotcha. over it, just for future reference, but yeah, uh, the, DJ was, the DJ was uh, killing it with some Biebs there. And did you? We could I could yeah. recognize the music. What was the music? Justin Bieber, baby. Oh, oh yeah, okay. yeah. All right. Anyway, go ahead. Well, and talk about your doctor. Yeah, no, I'm gonna talk about my doctor uh, because uh, I am envious, and so um, you know, I do have to say that you know this weekend was big for me and my doctor as well because it was her uh, sixth birthday. She just turned six. And yes, every year we um, we do a birthday party for her. This is from uh, from last year's birthday. Um, we have a cake oh, and everything, sorry. and we get treats. And everybody, I, I force everybody to put party hats on. So uh, <laughs> yeah, oh gosh, this year like, that dog looks like it hates you. <laughs> yeah, she loves me. Are you kidding me? She loves me anyway. So uh, oh. yeah, this year we're doing uh, the party. Uh, this Saturday, so we'll be uh, and, and my party. I mean, I just make everybody put the hats on. I go out and get her a treat, and uh, we don't actually get cake and ice cream for us, but we do for her. We get her a treat. And remind, remind me what happens when when the dog doesn't want to eat. Okay, so this came up today when we were at lunch earlier, and yeah, they're you know most dogs they they love to eat. My dog um has to be coaxed into eating, and so when my wife sits down to feed her our uh ollie dog food that we get uh in the mail uh she looks at it and she really doesn't want to eat it so uh the only way she'll eat it is if i pretend that i'm going to eat it so i start telling her uh i'm gonna eat your food and i start walking closer to it and then i start getting down on all fours 
um, she starts to get this nervous look in her eyes. And so <laughs> I literally have to put my head down there by the mat where Anita is putting the wait, food. Wait. So and, your dog uh, gets nervous. Your dog gets nervous when you get on all fours by, by her. I, yeah, I, okay, I see where this is going. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In any event, um, yeah, she gets nervous because she thinks I'm going to take her food, which is what I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to make her think that I'm going to take her food. And so I put my head down there and, uh, you know, I start uh, pretending like I'm licking up the dog food and uh, she'll she'll growl. And uh, and that's when she'll start to get protective and then she'll finally start eating. She's, you know, Remind me to ask Anita to record this at some point, like. <laughs> Well, Anita and I are both down there on the ground. Anita's the one uh, in oh. front of the dog putting the food on the mat. The dog won't eat the food. So then I've got to get down there, either me or, or my nephew, BJ. Uh, you know, she just doesn't want somebody eating her food. So you've got to literally get, or Tomas, you just got to get down there on all fours and pretend like you're going to eat it. The whole family's down on all fours, kind of like a human centipede type of... Uh... <laughs> It usually only takes one person, uh, but yes, somebody has to get down there on all fours and pretend like they're going to eat it so that she gets protective. And yeah, it. Uh, you know, I'll I'll fill my dog's bowl, and she can eat it or not eat it. If she doesn't eat it, she's going to die. If she does eat it, hey, she eats it. That's ridiculous. That, that works. That works with kids too. I'm sorry, Emily, but uh, yeah, I, this is what's for dinner. Eat it or don't. I don't give a shit. <laughs> That's what's for dinner. <laughs> yeah. See, but my wife is different. She's that, you know, comes from that Hispanic tradition where, you know, if you don't eat, there's something wrong with you. So this dog's got, and my mother-in-law too has the dog eaten. I'm like, well, no, but if she, she's hungry, she'll eat. I mean, she'll eat. What, what, did, what did mom always say? Dr. Canterac said. What did Dr. Dr. Canterac. Canterac? When they're hungry, they'll eat. When they're hungry, they'll eat. So, hey, that's where I learned my my uh, my way. Well, see, so. we get we we get uh, we get choices. I, I don't know how we're getting off on this, but uh, we, we get choices. Bad. So, so Avery thinks she's she not that she's successfully telling us what she's going to have to eat, or telling Emily what she's going to have to eat. You want and to make it very clear like, that it was Emily, and she doesn't tell you what she's. Gonna she eat. well, she she'll she'll kind of she'll she'll she'll. Say to me, you know, oh, well, I went there. I'm, whoa, whoa, whoa! I ain't no damn chef. I, I'm like, you get what you get. Like, I, I just now because you asked for it, I don't want to give you that. And that's that's just my uh, my, my combativeness. Thing. Great kindergarten teacher, uh, Montessori teacher for both my boys, Mrs. K. She used to say, "You get what you get, and you don't throw a fit." Yeah, yeah, that's that's a big one. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, no, <laughs> I, yeah, no, I. Speechless. But see, that never worked in our house because remember, Jamie, you and I would eat it. Whatever <laughs> mom made, she, we would eat it. Rudy did not. And what did Rudy get? And Rudy got, he got rewarded. He got Red Baron pizzas at the end of the well, night. Well, not only that, but sometimes he would get to go to McDonald's. Oh, geez. Remember that, right. everybody? Yeah. Well, hold did. on. It's not like they went and got me McDonald's. It's like, hey, here's some. Oh, I had to go get it. Go by yourself it, through the alley. And get it yourself. Like okay, okay. Explain <laughs> explain the geography of it, the the whole layout we've, of this. We've talked about the alley before in one of the earlier episodes, but you might remind viewers and listeners. You know, we, how we grew up right behind McDonald's, and when I say right behind McDonald's, I mean like the speaker box would keep us up at night. Like it was that <laughs> close. We were that. Like we would literally go up to our room on the second floor, open the window, and as cars were driving through, we would yell out. And add a cheeseburger on top of her, add a large fry. We so would yell like, out food just to try to ruin, <laughs> ruin their order. We, we would lay in bed and a large fry. <laughs> oh my God, we were you gotta, give, you, gotta give Joe, you gotta give Joe Murillo credit for that one. I think, Is I think that Joe was, Murillo, Joe Murillo, yeah, our neighbor. Yeah, one day uh, we need to actually go take some photos to just show just how uh, close McDonald's was. Well, literally yeah. So, I mean, it so would, it would be like midnight. It would be like midnight, and we would hear, we would be sleeping, and it, you'd hear, "Oh, can I have a Coca Cola?" And I, I'm like, "Oh, nothing yeah. like trying to go to sleep, and you can still hear the orders of the the people, uh, you know, late on a Friday or Saturday going through the drive through." Oh man! Yeah. Okay, proceed. You would get. You would basically. You would say you didn't want to yeah, eat. Like mom and dad would give you money. On on uh, let's say for instance, um, meatloaf night. I wasn't a big meatloaf 
meatloaf guy. So, uh, and now we love first meatloaf. off, first off, it's just hamburger and cheese, which is essentially in a cheeseburger. It's not because at the time there, what else is in there? Onions. I wasn't right. a big onion guy. There were onions in there. I'm sorry. Yeah, he would go over to McDonald's, get a single cheeseburger or get a quarter pounder, and it would have little diced onions, and yet he ate those. Yeah, but those are from McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> um, so basically, yeah. so basically, there was an alley that went right behind our backyard right. and our garage and stuff, and so you and would we, have to cross and where actual cars went down. Like cars, cars would go down these alleys, and you know, people, drunk people would lay down in these alleys I, I you know, i'd gone out in the alley before and saw people laying there sleeping um yeah and mom would yeah. just be like here take some money go go hopefully you come point back was you didn't have to eat what me and jamie felt like we were forced to or maybe we were the good kids and just ate it and did you guys were also stupid thinking if you ate spinach you would be like popeye and get muscles or something you <laughs> idiots <laughs> We did, we did get uh, spinach in a can, and uh, I thought, well, heck, that's there's a surefire way to gain muscles. I mean, it did it for Popeye. So, do you remember you know, getting this Popeye brand spinach in the can? He also squeezed the can open. Like, could you guys do that? Like, we had to use the can opener, the electric can opener. Oh my god, you guys, morons! M -m 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 so, so, <laughs> so is our backyard. So you, this this alley. And then on the other side of the alley was a privacy fence that really wasn't very private. Uh, and, and so you, you could just slide underneath the privacy fence and boom, you were in McDonald's parking lot. Or you go around. There. Yeah. And also yeah. there was a, um, there was a uh, pizza hut, right? And we're talking on Independence Avenue, by the way. Independence um, Avenue and Hardesty. Mm -hmm. So there was a pizza hut right next to it, which came in handy later with the Book It program. Man, I, I fake read so many books to get that free pizza. <laughs> And so, because uh, I would save those for meatloaf night, I'd run, hey, mom, I got to book it. Uh, I'm going to go get a free pizza. So, um, yeah, I mean, you know what? You know what I think it was, too, being that now I have four kids or whatever. Um, I was the last one. Like, mom, I don't care what Macy eats. Eat whatever, dude. I, you're the you last, the last one. one. You're not the last one. I was at the time, though. <laughs> then Andrew came along, but at the time I was the last one. I was I was the third of four. So by then I think they had given up. They they weren't parenting anymore. I don't parent Macy. Just don't burn anything down and we'll be fine. We'll all be fine. <laughs> so I, I am now of the opinion that this should never be considered a pod uh, parenting podcast. <laughs> I was just <laughs> thinking that as I was saying. <laughs> Just no, don't burn down the house. That, yeah, good we're advice. We're just telling you guys how I do it. Whatever. It's an alternative pod, uh, alternative parenting uh, podcast. That, that's it. That's it. Um, parenting. But uh, yeah, I would I would get my McDonald's and and uh, yeah. Point is a lot of times water. I would no. A lot of times I would literally like search the couch cushions for because back then a cheeseburger is what like seventy five cents. 59 69 so well, 59 for a hamburger 69 for cheeseburger yeah so i would look for change in the couch and then go get it myself so mm -hmm. what <laughs> well, good deal. uh i don't know how we got there uh but getting <laughs> getting back to started? how did we end up here yes <sighs> getting oh, back to the uh dog eating i guess <laughs> yeah getting back to the dance topic uh Rudy, uh, and I think one of the reasons we were laughing when I pressed record was uh, you were telling that story about um, a dance that we went to or that I drove. You want to? Yeah, no, it was just it was my freshman year homecoming and we were just kind of spitballing like what we were going to talk about tonight and just reminiscing kind of. And I don't know. There's too much of a story there. I don't know how it happened. It was me and uh, it was a rocker's homecoming. And I went with Carrie Durkee and Anthony Spock went with Felicia Cavallero and you were with us. You were a sophomore because we were freshmen. And how did you end up driving Anthony Spock's dad's van? I, I had maybe, I had maybe talked to him to his dad once or twice. I think like, I mean, we were, you know, I, he didn't know me that well. I don't think other than being your brother. Shout um, out to Tony Spock, by the way. And Anthony <laughs> Spock. And Felicia and everybody I would just mentioned, but uh, yeah, yeah. I, I vaguely and too, I, I probably wouldn't have remembered this at all ever again. And if you hadn't brought it up today, I 
but he i remember he just basically gave me the keys to his, it was a minivan it was a minivan we went to v's on 40 highway god who did, i don't even remember who i took if it was sophomore homecoming was that what it was what was his name or <laughs> did they allow that back then did they allow he was very progressive uh, my sophomore year homecoming would have been Kendra Murado, uh, so I took. You know her, right? Yeah, her it's new... actually, Kenda, not Kenda. Kenda. Why am I thinking Kendra? I don't Kend- know. Kendris Morales. <laughs> I, that's probably it. Was it was Kenda Murado? I remember. Okay, Kenda. that's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Shout um, out to Kenda Murado. I'm gonna gotcha. be the shout out guy every time we mention anything. Yeah. Shout out to yeah. guys are shouting out everybody left and right. <laughs> I think it's funny. I that's that's my new thing. But blast um, past all the names that we haven't heard from or talked about talked to. Or, can you was, imagine giving your keys to some random kid that you don't really know other than you know? It, it, yeah, it, that was maybe yeah. that's how bad he didn't want to take us. <laughs> If the choice is between some sophomore possibly wrecking my van or me this driving, kid, I'm gonna this say kid just kid. got his license. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> yeah, because I would have been a square man. That'd have been like a junior then. I was because I would have homecoming. I wouldn't have had my license yet. Um, yeah, I don't know. no, he wouldn't have been 16 yet. But yeah, it was, I don't it was know. Freshman year, dude. Homecoming okay, well, was maybe- on Halloween night. It was October 31st. Okay, well, I wasn't uh, 16 yet, but it, you know, it makes for a good story. I, I don't. Spock's dad was like, "Hey, he's got his permit. That's good enough." Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't taking him. Yeah, well, that takes me back to my uh, freshman homecoming. I think you remember that, Bob, because uh, my freshman homecoming was uh, we went to eat at Anthony's restaurant. Shout out, shout out to Anthony's. Shout out to Anthony's I, again. I can actually give you the date. You want to know the date? It was October 5th, 1991, and I know wow. that because it was the first date that i ever went on with my wife and so we've yeah. known each other you need over 30 years now. your first date you were a junior in high school no, with her with her with anita my well, sorry yeah my first date with anita was yeah gotcha sorry. yeah no you, you, you no, need I to have it, uh, for her <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, <playa. Shout> out <laughs> i need that casanova Ooh, mira <laughs> casanova Jamie was talking over those names. We gotta we gotta shout them out again. Uh Asha Sadarangani, Abbott now, and uh Carrie Pounds. Yeah. Carrie those Pounds. Were, and plenty of women. Hey. My wife. Yeah. Shout out. <laughs> God. Anyways. I have plenty of girlfriends. That's what I meant. Um uh God, that just threw me. Um, but yeah, no, my uh my freshman year homecoming was at the same we, we went to eat at the same place that they went for their first date so and i was Bob part of and, uh Maryland. where was that anthony's anthony's restaurant oh, anthony's right we said that yeah right. and mom yeah. and Marilyn uh drove separately so that they could uh spy on me and anita because it was our first date. yes yeah and mom, well, I, mom so, had, they, so they tell me so. mom had driven uh us in that big old conversion van that we had way back in the day there was like four of us like me steve avila um James Hernandez and Johnny Gordon. <laughs> we're, Johnny Gordon. Yes, we were uh, in our dates. Um, God, I man. I was just at mom's today. And every time I go down there, because I'm still trying to clean out the basement, get stuff out. But she's got that bookshelf full of albums of pictures. And I always try to go through and snap a couple of the pictures out of there. And there was one, you mentioned that conversion van, and it was on Homecoming. And Bob, you were opening the side door and uh, letting Modesta Tinoco in. So that would have been like freshman year of Rockers. So now we're talking fall of 89. Yeah. It was just a weird picture because all I could think of was like, I hope she got out of there alive. Like, <laughs> like you look like such a creep opening like this creepy van. And, and In her- every photo, I look like a creep. Yeah, it, it's, yeah, that was. <laughs> yeah. So. Nice. Nice. All right. So now, 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 uh, your daughter's been to, to dances with creepy guys. Um, I have not experienced Well, I did uh, with Kylie a little bit briefly. Which, my with, daughter. Yeah. She, she hasn't, she didn't go to any high school dances. No, with creepy guys. I'm trying to think. Every guy. Yeah. You're right. I mean, she's brought over a few creepers. Should we go into? I'm I sure don't Quentin know could. Into names, but there was the. Uh, they're adults now, aren't they? Aren't they in their twenties now? There they're was a... the football player that uh, had gotten in some serious trouble with 
what was it drugs or what it was drinking what he, i think slow down she was, <laughs> she was using him to i don't i don't know I, it's kid stuff yeah, that's cute that's kitty stuff, kid stuff. Kid stuff. I, don't, I don't get involved um my daughter is a smart girl with a good head on her shoulders so uh yeah right. so yeah. <laughs> so yeah 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 no i, I think this uh, started to be about our our, our daddy daughter dances but uh has evolved into something really speaking of parker's uh boyfriends um oh so now he wants to go back into it okay <laughs> well i was just saying weren't we looking for an extra team in fantasy football i think yeah we're not going to add that guy that guy was uh <laughs> <laughs> He had it up in our fantasy football league before. Uh, no, 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 not that guy. I'm talking about the current guy. The current one. Is that the same guy that I had to cut out of the thumbnail for one of our episodes on Spotify because the, uh, the frame was only so big and it was either him on one side or like Quentin on the other? Well, it's good you mention that because we do tell any kind of new people to family events. It makes sure when we take a group picture, you're standing on the outside. It's easier to cut you out of them. So, so if we, we when they just, break up, yeah, when, when when they break up, we can just not that they're going to break up. Now we still have photos too of people that have uh, long since departed the family as well, and you know you can't cut those photos up because yeah, I think wait did didn't Crystal get wise to that and now she positions herself? <laughs> uh, she thinks she's middle of the picture worthy. She um, thinks she's smart, but back to the edge, Crystal. Back to the edge of the. <laughs> what photo. she doesn't know is mom has taken pictures with people in the middle that we want to get out and just taken their head out, like their face, which is hilarious. I've seen that picture. Uh, it's a family picture, and the person we want to get out is right in the middle, and she somehow cut the face off. So, <laughs> Crystal, you're not safe. You're not safe at all. We can extract <laughs> you from any photo, especially with today's digital tools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. wow. Well, well, do we, we want to get to our uh, our award? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's do tell that. Us, um, tell us who are some of the nominees this week for the Quit Acting Stupid Award. Yeah, who did we have? What nominees? Um, oh, uh, I, I I believe we uh, tossed around and given it to your son. Our, yeah, you got one that's in our family. Why don't you tell us uh, what we're about to see, Rudy? Well, um, I'm taking care know, of that one. So, so go my ahead and talk son, about yeah, my son had a. Um, sweetheart dance uh this weekend and nothing he allowed me to um can we see him yeah yep. we can see him we can we can yep. see him uh when 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 he goes to the sweetheart dance i you know i i work and and he wasn't even sure if he was going to make it for pictures is what he told me so you know he laid it on to where you're not you're not you know you're not uh the only parent that's not going to be here just don't worry about it. it's not a big deal i don't even know if i'm going to make <laughs> okay. it so I tell him, you can stop on that one right there. Right. Yeah. This one. yeah I, I want to know what the story well, here. So, so I tell him, okay, just make sure you send me some pictures, man. So I can post them. Cause I get home and on Facebook, everybody's posting their kids at sweetheart sure. and stuff. This yep. is my son's senior year. I said, Hey, send me some pictures. So the next day you're looking at what I got. Um, a sword, a sword. Look at the people behind him. Like, what are they thinking? Like, Quit acting stupid is what they're, they're like. Exactly. If you were to look up quit acting stupid in the dictionary, I know you can't look up a phrase, but it would have these pictures. Like this is the epitome. I don't want to use epitome two weeks in a row. No, Ay Dios mio. Ay Dios mio. Put your $35 away. <laughs> I, he's, got some, he's got some 20s in there, man. I, I, that's I, some Dave and Buster's money. I love this kid. I love this kid. He, he's got um, a pink shirt on, which is fine, but at least it looks like he his pants are not high watered. Like, looks like uh, he has his loafers on with no socks. I can't tell from can't this really angle. tell from this angle. I yeah. hope he's wearing socks, but as long as long as he doesn't have tennis shoes on, he, he's um, certainly not impressing the two young ladies behind him. <laughs> but when <laughs> I see this picture, this one in particular, hold on, hold on. This All one right. in particular, it's just a very. If I was standing next to him. I would just say, dude, quit acting stupid. <laughs> there, th these these white people are never going to invite you back. <laughs> Stop it! This he is why we can't go anywhere wait, nice. He thinks he's he thinks he's Scarface right here. He? I think so. But you know what? I think the best part is like he's not serious. Kind of yeah. like uh, kind of like the Z in our title. The oh, boys good, yeah. And the girls, the Z's. 
we know it's douchey. That's part of the joke. Like we, we get it. Like we're, we're in not, on it. Yeah, we're not trying to be cool. I don't want anybody out there to think that we put Z's in it in the in the titles because we think we're cool. No, we get it. It's part of the joke. And I think that's him too. He knows it's funny. It's like let me hold of, up this money and and the uh, Z is a little bit of a, a throwback to that like the hot 103 jams. Don't forget to slam that Z. Yeah, I hope you I hope you all are slamming the Z by the way when you when you got to slam that Z. When you I look, at this, I look at this picture and uh I, I, I quickly noticed that one kid has tennis shoes on. So sorry, sorry. Um, well, that is really a thing for you, huh? Tennis shoes with suits, even oh, though that's God. actually the style these days. That's like that's no. like Kid Ray. Kid Ray no, from to, uh, Clean Army. Be, it has to be the right kind of tennis shoe. It can't be just your average running shoe. It's got to okay. be. All right. I'm yeah. following you. Yep. It's got to be I, a Jordan. It's got to be a Jordan one or a dunk. No, it has to be like all dunk. white. You know. No, uh, anyway, I don't. Well, we can get into this later. Um, some, guy, yeah. some guys beating up Kid Ray. Is that lean on me? <laughs> yeah, he wore a suit with tennis shoes. Or he okay, wore I think we, okay, suit. I think I've hit all these pictures. So yeah. Uh, so anyway, Manny is the uh, winner this week of uh, yeah, just quite like a stupid man. Manny, congratulations! I hope where, you're where not, he, uh, where, did he ever tell you where he got the sword or where that <laughs> came from? Um, I'd like to know that origin. Weird that that know, wasn't the first question. You know, I don't ask those types of questions anymore. <laughs> uh, I, you're, 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 you're just, hey, did you decapitate anyone? That's what I want to know. He didn't kill anything. Because, honestly. But did he die? He, but did he die? <laughs> but He'd did be he the die? one. He would be the one that accidentally cut his pinky off, and now we got to run to the hospital. And it quit acting stupid. Like, seriously. Uh, but you're right. He didn't die. So, um, I, I don't know where he got the sword. But, um, yeah. Well, good. Congratulations, Manny. Yeah, he made it. He's big time now. Winner, winner. Hey, tell all your friends. He'll never see it. He doesn't watch. <laughs> he's, he'll say he does, but he, he doesn't watch. Does anybody? Well, so every time every time we get off this uh, this pod, we're like, oh, I should have said this. I should have said that. Can you think of anything that we maybe we missed? What did so, we miss? I'll think about it, and I'll remember it. I'm like, uh, tomorrow. But um, Yeah. Uh, Wait, wait, we talked about, because we were rolling this afternoon at, at our lunch. We were cracking up, and I can't remember. Oh, the guy, the guy, the, guy. Uh, the table behind us. Um, yeah. So we're okay. sitting at a table. We're sitting Poor at a guy. He was table. trying to do two things. He was trying to uh, get his, pick up his food, or get his food ordered, and he was trying to save a table, a four-person table for one person. So we've already said the place. We were at Westport Flea Market, and it gets busy at lunch, and especially they got this week, they've got this chief special going on. And so it was crowded. And so he wanted to secure his table, but he had to get up and get his food and he wanted to get his condiments or whatever. But people kept coming by. Is this table taken? Is this table taken? And, and we, at the time, we didn't know. We thought, we thought he was done. He was sitting there. And we thought he got up and left. And so we told the lady, no, it's, it's free. We think he left. And so they started sitting down and he came up and he's like, uh, I'm still sitting there. I'm still, <laughs> I'm still sitting there. And we're like, well, we're, we're sorry. We didn't know. But technically, sir, you're not sitting there right now. But right. Anyway. And so, you know, two or three other parties proceeded to ask us if the table was open. And at that point, we knew, no, it's this guy over there that's not sitting where he's supposed to. But it was our cousin JJ who pointed out, like, why are you taking up a four top? Like, you're by yourself, you loser. Go sit at the bar. <laughs> Go sit at the bar, clown. I I don't uh, I don't know it it was just odd. Was but, no, odd. the best was when uh, <laughs> when the lady the, the you know if you don't know you get your burger and then uh, the drinks the lady comes to the table to ask about the drinks and, and what did our our cousin Jay uh, <laughs> do, do we pay for the drinks here? <laughs> no, cuz they're they're free they're totally free you, you don't have to pay for them at all. <laughs> Oh my God. So yeah. Um, that trip was pretty fun. Uh, Andrew was there. Um, all of us three, us three. And then, and then JJ. Yeah. We had a good time. We had a good time. Hopefully we can do that more often. Like yeah, that, was, that was that a schedule, you know, get four pe what five people's schedules. We've been, trying to, we've been trying to do this for over a month. Um, oh yeah. It's been a while. We've been trying to get to yeah. I think it took, I think it took $3 burgers to finally get us, <laughs> get us all together. Yeah. I'll go so $3 I mean, burgers. I'm there. I paid three dollar burger for a burger, but spent how much in gas driving all the way out to Westport? And four dollars on the fries. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe but the fries are part of this deal. I don't know. I don't know. But um, 
what else what else happened this week real quick before we end uh yeah. um the super bowl opening night uh the well, grand- i'm sure uh so we've got a uh, a party this weekend a, a family super bowl party for um some of the older should i say older crowd i mean uh we invited everyone in the family, but a lot of them, uh, you know, your your daughter Rudy, they've got uh, little ones, and and Andrew and his family, they've got little ones. So, you know, to to come out to my place, uh, I'm out on the other side of town, and so to come out to my place on a Sunday evening when you've got little ones, uh, yeah, it's that doesn't really work. But uh, we are going to have a party at at my place. Um, none of you are invited except uh, the people that uh, are on this call. And uh, I, I don't want I don't want all our listeners, all of our listeners showing up at my house. He lives at what golf course is it? <laughs> I'm not telling you. <laughs> uh, I don't need 85 people showing up for a house party. Um, He's going to be pajama. projecting the game on his uh, garage door. So come on by. We're going to have a, a tail pajama game. Jammy jam. I'm going to find the damn it doll that we talked about last week. <laughs> you won't need it. Chiefs are going to Chiefs are going to win. I haven't been this confident since uh, the Tampa Bay Super Bowl. E. Yeah, I'm really, worried. Really. I feel pretty confident too. So, uh, but I'm sure we'll have a plenty to talk about next week. Yep. Uh, we've got our interview with our cousin Vince next week, and then uh, we'll do a Super Bowl debrief, Super Bowl party debrief. Yeah, I'll see you. Uh, we can have a, a a review on my uh, my beverage uh, uh, supply yeah. that I bring. Oh, that's right. Yeah, this guy. We tell him to bring uh, to bring pop, to bring soda, to bring drinks. And uh, he immediately wants to go to the uh, the off brand. What are you going to bring, Doctor Thunder? You said <laughs> Sam's Cola. Uh, you're you're at the at the uh, at the mercy of whatever Aldi decides to uh, supply. You Aldi know what? I, buns, which hey, come on now, Aldi's has got some good stuff. I yeah. prefer Doctor Choice over Doctor Thunder. So Doctor Thunder, Doctor Choice. You can pull Vest. Off Choice. No vest, no vest soda will enter my house. Vest. Especially no like strawberry cream or whatever. Remember we would play baseball and after the game, somebody would bring the pop. Oh, it never so failed. Oh, it's it's very very somebody would put like a cream soda cream in there. Soda. Nobody wants your cream soda. But yeah. do you remember what everybody did want? Bubble up. Bubble up, yeah. You want to bubble up? What was a bubble up? Bubble up. I don't know. It was a Sprite, basically, wasn't it? Knock off 7-Up, I guess. Uh, it was at three and two. We'd all run back as fast as we could. We just got our asses blown out by electric material. But we ran the fastest we had run all night to get back to the concession stand to order our bubble up. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah I bring that vest into my house. Or that. Did I just say I got my ass blown out? <laughs> my bad. I didn't. He also puts Twinkies back there. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean cream. that. We should have. Yeah, this, 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 out of should misery. Ended, this should have ended 10 minutes ago. All right. So go ahead. <laughs> go ahead and wrap this up, one of you. All right. This is uh Bobby and for my brother Jamie, for my brother Rudy, not Rudolph. We'll see you all next week. Make sure you come back here, but in the meantime, just quit acting stupid. <laughs>